Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 583. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 582 to 585. In this trick here, we have a data set, and we want to calculate for each sales rep the average unit sold, the average sales, and the average cost of goods sold. So we have three col four columns over here. There's our criteria for which one which amongst all these records to add. So for Richard we need to look at that record. Oh, it looks like Richard hasn't sold too many. But there's lots of duplicates, right? There's lots of carols. There's a carol there, a carol there. So it looks like for Richard there'll just be one. But nevertheless we need the average. And there's three columns here. Now we're going to use the average if function, which is Excel 20710. And uh, we'll have some of the records that will return um, have a problem. And then we'll use the new if error function. So I'm going to start off average if. And in 2007 and 10, when you see the function you want, you can use your down arrow to select it and then tab. And this function requires the criteria range. By the way, there's an S too, average ifs. So that's when you have more than one criteria. But we just have one criteria here, the, the sales rep. So the range is the actual range with the criteria. The criteria will be that name, and then the average range will be this one, this one, and this one, depending on which column we're in. So I'm going to click there, Control Shift Down Arrow, and F4 to lock it. Now that needs to be locked in all directions, right? All these columns, and as we go down, needs to look at the, the criteria. Comma, the criteria is right there. Now think about this. As we copy it over this way, we need it locked looking at Richard, but when we go down, we need it to move. So we need the column reference locked, F4, key three times. Column is locked, but the row is not. So when it moves down, it'll, it'll move to the next sales rep. Comma, and finally, the average range. Well, look at this. We're in the units column, so I'm going to click there, Control Shift Down Arrow. I'm going to hit the F4 key once, but we have to think about this. When this formula moves over to sales, we need that whole dancing ant range, dancing ant range to move over. But when we copy it down, it needs to be locked on units. So what do we do? F4 key one time. Row reference locked, column reference not locked, allowed to move. The whole range will move over. So when we're over in this column here, it'll get the cost of goods sold. Uh, close parentheses, control enter. I'm going to drag it over to cost of goods sold and then down. You come down to the bottom and we'll check. Oh, look at that. The, uh, the green one is there. And sure enough, the uh, proper purple range is on cost of goods sold because we're in that column. So that's uh, um, using absolute mixed with the column reference locked and mixed with the row reference locked. Now I thought we were going to get some zero some zero ret, uh, returns here. Let's uh, see if I can force the issue issue here. We'll we'll say uh, so. Richard has one other one. I thought oh there's we'll change this to Skykes. Oh no, so Richard has lots of them. My eyes just weren't w working earlier when I searched through. There's another Richard. Sorry, Richard. We're going to take Skykes right there. We're trying to get an error, which can happen. You have a unique list, and uh, perhaps this uh, employee did made no sales this time. They were slacker. They were in the back room drinking coffee all, all the time. I still have one Richard. I'm just going to uh, Control Shift Down Arrow, Control F for Find. I'm going to type Richard, and shoot, I'm going to say Replace, and I'm going to say uh, Carol. Uh, replace all. One more, so I missed it. All right, so Control Home to jump up here. Now we have a divide by a zero, so we want to fix that. And of course, what's happening is uh, average if is going through, and in the denominator, since it's average, it's adding them all up and dividing by the count. When there's zero, right? There's a zero in the denominator, so of course it does that. All right, we're just going to use uh, if error. This is such a great function. If error. 
instead of early versions having to use the if function and repeating this function twice, which meant it calculated twice, we just, this function will look. And if it's calculating fine, it just plops that in the cell. But if it's giving you an error, it knows. And then you just have to tell it, what do you want if it's an error? I'm going to put uh, double quote you, for blank, close parentheses, control enter drag it over and then double click and send it down. So there you have it. Um, and now one last thing, um, we want gross profit percentage and a quick easy formula is you take, oh, the sales divided by the cost of goods sold minus one. Now we're going to get a uh, value error here. And the reason why it's value and not divide by zero is because it's actually seeing that blank there. And a blank, which is text, um, uh, is subtracting one. Uh, you have a text and a number. That's why we're getting the value error. But nevertheless, we use the same thing as we did just a moment ago. If error. And then uh, comma, I'm going to put blank. Now, again, you could put anything you want within two quotes. So you could put, uh, you know, none or whatever you wanted. Close parentheses, control enter, double click and send it down. If you wanted to change this, right, you just in between there and type none. Slacker was in the back room uh, drinking coffee. Or maybe he was sick the whole time and then that would be mean to say he was a slacker. All right, um, average if, if error, gross profit percentage, and even a little find and replace. All right, we'll see you next trick.